Hey guys, Jay Teasler here. Today we're going to cover the barbell back squat for beginners. So stay tuned, check it out. Hope you enjoy. Tell me what you think. If you have any questions, please ask them below and I'll be sure to cover them. Thanks so much. Hips, full hips. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, barbell back squat. Here we are, you're gonna approach the bar, use your two fingers to check the spacing between the rack and the collar on the barbell so that the bar is even on the rack. Next is bar position on your back. I'm not gonna get into high bar versus low bar, but here I'm gonna do a low bar squat, which just means that the barbell is gonna be placed under your scapular spine opposed to being up on your neck. So if you're a CrossFitter, you're probably gonna be doing high bar squats. Also, if you have short femurs, shorter legs, then you're gonna be doing a high bar. It's a little bit easier for you. Your torso is a little bit more upright. Either way, they're great. Power lifters usually do a low bar, uh, which is gonna be, like I said, on your scapular spine. It's a little bit easier on my neck, um, lower back. And the reason is because the weight is closer to my waist opposed to being further away from my waist. So either way, they're both great, but position the bar is what you're doing now before you lift the weight up. Okay, so I just lifted the weight up. Before I lift the weight up, I usually take a deep breath. I squeeze my abs, bringing my ribs down towards my pelvis, and then I take two steps back. One, two, and then you're ready to squat. So go through it again. Deep breath, squeeze your abs, bring your ribs down, two steps back, and then you're ready to get set up and start squatting. All right, next we're gonna take an athletic stance and begin squatting. One thing I wanted to point out, if you have a lordotic or a lordosis in your lower back, you definitely want to emphasize on squeezing your ribs down and that will help keep your lower back in a good position so you're not overextended. I see a lot of girls who overextend their lower back and that can cause sciatica and lower back issues because I have done that so my new correction or cue is to bring my ribs down when I'm squatting and keep my abdominals super tight all right now we have how to sit back into your hips the best way to practice this is try sitting down in a chair what you're gonna do is push your butt back first if you notice when you sit down in a chair and that's exactly what we're gonna do here All right, guys, let's take it from the top. Make sure the bar's even. Step in, put it on your back where you want. Two steps back. Sit your butt back first. Flat feet, keep your weight on your heels. Chest up. If you find yourself on your toes too much, leaning forward, then you're not sitting your butt back far enough and you're probably looking at the ground. You do want to keep a neutral spine. You don't want to look up too far that you're jamming your neck, but you don't want to look too far down at the ground so that you're leaning forward onto your toes. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave some comments. Maybe you can give me some tips. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.